vegan because we cannot tolerate atrocity. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visite suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. 저희 방송은 다양한 언어를 제공합니다. 다음을 참고하세요. suprememastertv.com slash schedule. You have to be there for your children. Of course you meditate and all that, but you have to be there for your children. You have to know it's very difficult for them to grow up without the love of parents and family. It's very important for them to feel loved, no matter what. They have to really feel it. Please keep watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Alvesis also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, Dutch, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Ulu Tonu Mai means welcome in Tokelauan. My name is Samaria. Happy Talk Aloud joins you in an effort to conserve our natural resources to save them for future generations. Resting in the clear blue waters of the Southern Pacific Ocean is the tropical New Zealand territory, Talk Aloud. This island group is comprised of three main coral atolls each containing villages with small picturesque homes and community buildings. On the atoll Nukunonu, two villages are connected by a bridge. The Tokelauan way of life, or Whaka Tokelau, places high priority on self-reliance, family and community. Land is passed from one generation to the next, with some being communally owned. The island's governing council of elders, one group for each atoll, bring the wisdom of Tokelauan tradition to decisions about community life. Tokelau has joined with other Pacific island nations in proclaiming its waters to be a sanctuary for whales. The nation has also made big strides in renewable energy by adopting 100% solar power for its electricity, with coconut biofuel and wind power for backup. Communities in each atoll post reminders about keeping the environment clean. These inspiring green solutions have been celebrated in Tokelau and abroad. Tokelauans are graced with a culture of beautiful dance and song accompanied by handmade percussion instruments. Among the most popular is the traditional dance Fatili. We felt privileged to briefly introduce the unspoiled island paradise of Tokelau to you, affectionate viewers. May the stillness within bring you wisdom in the purest form.
four decades, Supreme Master Ching Hai has illuminated our world with her divine teachings. A fully enlightened master, she imparts the Guan Yin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within, to achieve in one lifetime eternal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. The Guan Yin method has been practiced by all enlightened masters, such as the worshipped world honored one Shakyamuni Buddha, the worshipped Son of God Jesus Christ, the venerated master and philosopher Confucius, the venerated Lord Krishna, the venerated master and philosopher Lao Tzu, the venerated Lord Mahavira, the beloved prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, and many more. Supreme Master Ching Hai emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others, and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on earth. An extraordinary living example of compassion, she lovingly and regularly sends material and financial assistance to refugees, the homeless, natural disaster victims, and others needing relief. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness. Wishing you the best. Supreme Master Ching Hai receives love and recognition from various organizations, media, governments, individuals and many awards, such as the 2006 Gusi Peace Prize, considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East, the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mahavir Award in 2008, February 22nd and October 25th, both proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day, an honorary citizen of the United States, etc and has been honored throughout the years with numerous other awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds.
etc. We apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. A true voice for our beautiful animal friends, Supreme Master Ching Hai promotes the peaceful, loving, plant-based diet and envisions with humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life, a tranquil and glorious all-vegan world where animals and people live in respectful harmony. Her initiatives included alternative living flyer distribution, the international vegan restaurants Loving Hut, vegan food companies, vegan fur products, Supreme Master Television, as well as writing and speaking to influential government and media leaders, participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we are aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal-friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Supreme Master Ching Hai has traveled worldwide and held discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. Today, we are blessed to present one of these insightful lectures entitled Be Your Children's Best Friend, Part 2 of 6, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on January 7, 2006, in Surrey, UK. I got through to him a couple of times. I mean, one time I, I, I got a call from an ambulance. He was lying in the road uh, after being vomiting and very drunk. And that day I brought him home. But I was really loving to him that whole time. I wasn't angry to him at all. Hmm. I said, I want to wait till you get better. Because I know what it's like to be poisoned with alcohol like this. Oh, terrible. And uh, one time he was arrested by the pr police and he was... Uh, uh, oh, I was ill, so I couldn't get him. I didn't know where he was. Hmm. So the following day, he was in the cell overnight. And that time I talked to him and I said, Look, son, this is, can be your life if you want it to be. But uh, I think you can do better than this. Because you're a bright, intelligent boy. You have to ask him to write out what he wants to do with his life. <laughs> And well, don't don't tell him what he wants to do. But ask him yeah, what he wants to yeah, choose, yeah. what he wants to be, a kind of person that he wants to be. But this is all in the past now. Now yeah. he's turned the corner. That's oh, good. He's, he's very focused on his study. He's meditating now. Wow, cool. And he's happy. He helps. Wow, in the house. what a guy! Positive. From that and turn to that, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> it's also your work. That you have uh, made it, yeah? Whew. Family, hey? I oh, tell I you. Uh, I was also initiated when I was quite young. And um, I also went through all the peer pressure. Yeah. Everything at school. I've done like most of the things that he was talking Understand. about. Understand. And then um, my life turned around. And then um, I did have meditation. And I knew he was always by my side. I knew he was also always in here with me. Then um, my life turned around and I started meditating. And then everything in my life was just so amazing. Like when I was young, I wouldn't walk outside and like I would smile because the sun was out. Mm -hmm. And I was just so overwhelmed that I had you with me. And I know that every day that you always be with me. Sure. Every day. And I just <laughs> wanted to let you know that... Um, I really appreciate everything you've done for me. Sorry, I love, I love doing that. And I love you. Thank you. I love you too. You're such so a good much. kid. 
Sounds <laughs> a good kid. You. Yes. Thank you, God. Thank yeah. you so much for everything you've done. No, oh, I understand you also. Okay, I understand you guys and the teenagers. You know, very lonely outside. You think they have peers, they have pe- they have friends, but they're very lonely. You know, the the ones who are not lonely are the aggressive ones. You know, the the bully one in the school, like a like a gang. You know, leader. And then they 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 make every other kid do what they want, and then they pick on other kids. You know. Like you're too fat, you're too skinny. They call you names and they make you feel like you are nothing. Like you're the worst in the class and everything like that. They will make your life like hell. So, you, the parents, have to understand the kids have problems. It's not just throwing them in the school and then you have nothing. You have to understand their problems as well, yeah. And sometimes they even they they even gang together to harass one person, one kid, and and then they come home. Of course, they're depressed. Yeah, they don't know what to do, and they can't even tell their parents. Sometimes they can't pinpoint the problem. They just feel bad, and they couldn't even tell you because they don't know how to express the things in school. Also, they feel powerless, and they feel also embarrassed to even tell you. Yeah, so if you're not the real buddy, they won't tell you their problem, because of pride as well. Teenagers are more proud than all of us. Yeah, that is the time they develop their confidence. And all their friends, so-called buddies and classmates, just throw stones at them, and of course they feel destroyed. So you have to be there for your children, eh? You already made a choice to be married, yeah, to have children. So you have to be responsible, yeah. You have to be there for your children. Of course you meditate and all that, but you have to be there for your children. You have to know it's very difficult for them to grow up without the love of. Parents and family. That's very important for them to feel loved, no matter what. They have to really feel it, yeah. They have to really feel it. Otherwise, at the, in the school they're bully. At home they don't feel wanted. You know they don't feel cared for. Even if you scold them, sometimes they know you care. But if you just you know like ignore them, don't even scold. Okay, do what you want, and after a while, don't talk to them. Then it will be worse. Because they're going through a very difficult period of their life, the teenage period is the worst. <laughs> the worst because they grow too quickly for their own understanding. You know, their bodies grow too quickly. <laughs> they hardly could have control of their bodies. That's why sometimes they break things or they bump into things a lot because of their bodies growing too quickly. Yeah, the teenagers yes. they break a lot of stuff <laughs> easily, easier than when you grow older or younger, no? Because of their bodies. Really, I'm not kidding. Their bodies grow fast, and their their brains. Have a difficult time to command. They're not used to it. Just like you have a new car, a new instrument, it takes time. Yeah, and then on top of that, the curse, the hormones, a raging in them. You know, make them feel oh, they don't know what to do. They're so restless. Yeah. So be understanding. Okay. Be helpful. Be friends and be guiding. <coughs> all right. Remember, you were a teenage once, and so many things you didn't understand. Why did it happen? Why did your body feel like that? Yeah, and why you feel this way? And why you want to do this? Why, why you didn't understand many things? Okay, it's the same, same with your children like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad, you know, uh, she, she, she's good. But how many teenagers can be so control and confident like that? How many? So uh, I'm glad you're a good kid. I'm glad you're strong. Because the, the social pressure in the school could destroy a kid. Do you understand? Some of them commit suicide because of that. And sometimes the kids are very intelligent, very intelligent inside. But because the destructive power of the the bully people makes him or her feel powerless, and then they drop the grade or don't study well because they cannot concentrate. You understand? Feel so depressed and unhappy. So their intelligence is also ruined. Do you understand this? So your kids sometimes they have a lower grade or suddenly drop. You have to understand why. Eh? You have to talk to him. Okay, bring him out to his favorite coffee shop. Yeah, and sit together two by two, or one together with. You know, it depends on whom he gets on well with. Yeah, together with parents or just together. First with the father, if she gets on better with the father, first with the father, and then together, and you know, and then go home and and if he tells you to keep a secret, you keep it. It's very important that you give the promise to the kids, yeah. If you want to buy him something and you promise, you do it. And if you don't do it, you better have a good reason. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, they don't trust you, yeah. 
if you leak out a secret without telling him first, he won't trust you again, huh? And uh, it's not easy to raise a family, but I'm glad that many of you do well. I can see that your family, good kids, even though they were going through a very difficult period of their life, because of you, you are the supporter, and you brought them into the good direction, they became good, and they could sail through this troubled water with flying colors. That's the best way to bring your child up. It's very good. So I congratulate you. <laughs> it's good for the whole family, huh? Package. <laughs> Package deal, huh? <laughs> yes, I'm very proud of you. Yeah, I'm so proud. I really am I'm so proud. Come on, give me a hug. <laughs> give me a hug. <laughs> I have pins and needles in my legs. Pins and needles in your legs? Oh, I'm sorry, love. Of course, of course, of course. It's going to sit so long. Thank you. Okay. I couldn't have done it without you. Okay. Oh, but you're a good kid. Okay. You sit quickly. You sit with your whole, your whole body on your legs, on your, on your feet. Then the pins and needles will be less. Sit with your whole body on it. Yeah, like that. A real pressure. It's less. It feels less painful. <laughs> okay, okay. It's cool. That means you meditate well, you know, because the currents all go up, up, up. That's why you feel you feel cramp. You know, sometimes you can't move your legs. So be careful if you want to stand up. Make sure testing, testing. <laughs> yeah, because it happened to me. You know, it happened to me sometimes. I I just wake up from meditation or even from sleep or even just sit somewhere long. And then I want to, to walk and then I fall because the, the body is gone <laughs> or half of it is gone. <laughs> and then I fall. You know, where's my leg? <laughs> yeah, so be careful, eh? After you wake up or out of meditation, test first. Is it working? <laughs> we could forget, you know? We could forget. That's why we shouldn't sit on a high chair and meditate. You might fall. Yeah. <laughs> that's the that's the secret why all the, the Buddhas and yogis they sit on the floor, understand? There's even a, a law from the Buddha, a rule, from the rule book. Don't sit on a high chair or high bed or... Yeah, because of that. <laughs> yeah, yes? One night I was meditating and then I had pins in the... Because you, when you wake up, you don't realize. I yes. got up yeah. and I fell straight on my back Oof. and my dad was standing at the door. Oh. And I realized I've fallen and then I've gotten up again. And then my dad just walked off. And the next morning I said, why didn't you pick me up when I fell over? Yeah. He said, oh, did you fall over? And then he just walked up and he said, I didn't realize. And I said, I fell over. Because of the kids and What a dad, huh? It's what a dad is for, huh? I tell you, I tell you. It's not just your dad, love. It's men. <laughs> There are many things that are so obvious to us women, the men, they don't notice. I do hope that by my teaching example, they will improve. Your dad's already very good. I mean, <laughs> at least he even listens when you talk. <laughs> yeah. And men don't have this kind of attentive ability as much as women, okay? So sometimes they do things like that, yeah? So obvious and simple things they don't notice, okay? So don't be mad at him, but... Teach him. Tell him next time if you see me like that, that means I need your help. <laughs> I made the loud bang as well. Yeah. And he still walked away. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> he, he's probably thinking of. He must have thought I was drunk or something, something else. <laughs> no, no. He knows you don't drink. Just probably sometimes thinking of something else. Yeah. Yeah. I thought maybe you were exercising, <laughs> <laughs> testing, <laughs> testing your kung fu power. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anything else you want to say, love? No more? No. Okay. I, I just wanted to say something funny about men. I was in the kitchen earlier looking for the tea, and I was like, where's the tea, where's the tea? And the tea was right in front of me. Mm -hmm. And then another brother came in, and he did exactly the same thing. <laughs> uh, exactly the same thing? Yeah, and... My father, when I was growing up, if he was reading the newspaper, mm -hmm. I'd say, Dad, and nothing. And I'd go, Dad, and nothing. nothing. And if, even if I hit him on the head, <laughs> he would still not even know that I was talking to him. 
Oh, really? Yeah, he's Mensch. amazing like that. That's too much. <laughs> <laughs> That's too much. <laughs> Maybe he was into something else? He's just like that. When he's concentrating on something, it's oh. like nothing else exists. Wow, yeah. then he'd be a good meditator, no? <laughs> I wish all of you were like that when you meditate. Aren't you like that? Any of you guys like that? When you meditate? You hope, huh? <laughs> Sometimes, huh? Okay, we all have our shortcomings, yeah? Just try, if you, if you notice it, then try to correct, okay? Try to correct. It's not the big things that make people happy in the family. It's the small things, small details. Big things take care of themselves. Hmm? Small details are very important to show that you care. Yeah. Like, for example, if, if you sit with your children for a few hours and talking, you know, or playing with things together, it's even more important to them than you buy them a big toy and neglecting and not talking to them. Be firm, yeah? Don't spoil them. So the thing you did was good. You have to be strong when you need to be, yeah? They have to earn what they, what they want, not just like buy anything they want and not guiding them in educational way. That's very bad, very bad, yeah? Kids should learn the value of high thinking and simple living. They should as well. All right. Anyone else? Good improve. I'm glad to hear. Yes. Um, Master, I'd just like to say thank you for everything you've done. Um, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> um, in the last two years, or especially the last year, I felt more at peace inside, and I feel um, a lot happier and content and serene, and I'd just like to thank you for that. Oh, you're welcome, baby. Thank welcome. You. I'm happy also that you're happy. Yeah, next one. Yes, sir, I want to thank you for all your blessings. Because when I was young, I suffered a lot in school yeah. and in the family. Jeez. But the last years, I got so much blessings. Miracles happen every day, and now I'm very happy. You're more confident yes. now? Yeah, it could yes. destroy yes. you, you know. I tell you, if the childhood was very bad, it could affect you the whole life, not just the childhood. It's very difficult to get your confidence back, especially they're so cruel in school. Some of the astros, they pick on you. And they make you feel really that. Even sometimes you're not ugly, but according to them, you're ugly. Or they want you to feel ugly because they are uglier than you. And then they keep repeating the thing to make you really feel ugly, even though you're not ugly. <laughs> the psychological effect is, is, is immense. I cannot emphasize enough that how you have to really love and guide your children. I cannot emphasize enough. Okay? You must understand, yeah? Gentle viewers, we appreciate your company for today's episode entitled Be Your Children's Best Friend, Part 2 of 6 on Between Master and Disciples. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May all nations live in peace and harmony under God's protection. Vegan, because like attracts like. If we condone brutality, it will return to us many fold. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.